and welcome to another episode of 9 to 5 Nerds. This is episode 9, not 8, not 7. This is episode 9. Who's counting? Because 7, 8, 9. Except, oh God. That's a good one. Uh, <laughs> God. We had already recorded five minutes of audio on our brand new, very fancy microphone when my computer crashed. Very old, very unfancy computer. Yeah. So, next week we will be unveiling the new microphone and new new stuff, so hopefully starting with episode 10, which will be next week. And we'll have a live DJ. Yeah, a live DJ. Strobe lights. You can't see it, but it's there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so hopefully uh, next week we will have all the new stuff available for you guys to listen to. So for now, this is episode 9. I am Robert Swatha with Corey Urkel. Hello. And our guest today is Anthony Smith. What's up? I thought it was Bourdain. Um, Damn it. I thought we had a guest named Anthony Bourdain on. I wonder when we'll get our first guest. That's like a like, like like a real guest, not Anthony. Oh, thank you. I'm not a real person. That's okay. Yeah, I I doubt it. But, but anyway, he's a person. To, His it, name it, is Anakin. It would have to be somebody who lives in San Diego. This, who who famous lives in San Diego? We could get uh the guys from Mega Sixty Four. They're not famous no more. The time is is gone. They have more listeners than we do on our podcast. Well, of course. They have booths at Comic-Con in videos. So if we had booths at Comic-Con, we'd have It more. might help. Or if you made a funny video. If you were funny. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there is that. The difference between them and us. Um, Comedy. <laughs> what did we talk about before the computer crashed? Corey's baby gap shirt. Oh. Corey's wearing a uh, baby <laughs> yeah. a youth medium <laughs> ducktail shirt. Re- retreading is not funny anymore. I've been... uh, yeah, it's not. No, I'm, we lost the magic. I'm genuinely pissed off because I I got the fancy new microphone and now I have to buy a laptop just to be able to use the fancy microphone. I'm genuinely genuinely afraid for your wife tonight. <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe next week I'll build a uh, soundproof room in here that can fit two of us. But we'll squeeze the third person in to make it, like, really uncomfortable. <laughs> so what we normally do after the show. Yeah. Okay. But with clothes on. Oh, that's way different. Well, teach the own, I guess. So last week was Civil War. Uh, this week we don't really have an agenda. I know Anthony wants to talk Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah. Uh, you have some agenda. I it's have liberal. some agenda. It's a liberal bias. It's Bernie Sanders is speaking on Saturday in National City. Go out and support your local, non-local... Vermont senator. <laughs> yeah, that guy's done. Too uh, bad some of us work on weekends. Like who? Like me. Oh, shit. I didn't see that coming. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. But, uh... uh what not! You... <laughs> the suit is not black. <laughs> uh, what do you guys got? What do you got? What do you got? Um, what do you got? Just a lot of Game of Thrones. What stuff. do you got, um, just... Corey? What do you got? Well, no, let's settle it down. I mean, who knows? If we're gonna do a midway episode. That's after episode five, which would be next week. But we're not doing Game of Thrones mid-season next week because it's Brian, and Brian is fucking terrible when it comes to Game of Thrones. Well, he doesn't watch it live. I. Oh my God! How does he live? Is he not caught up on this season at all? He watched the first episode. I don't know if he's watched past that. But there's so much that's happened. I know. I know he's listening. Jon Snow. I don't even know if Brian listens to the podcast. Do you listen to the podcast, Brian? <laughs> if you listen to the podcast, <laughs> this doesn't just go for Brian. When you hear this, if you listen to the podcast, tweet me at Sly Comics on Twitter so I know that you listen to the podcast, Brian specifically. So when you get no tweets, you just go sit there. Going, I just sit there and cry. <laughs> well, I guess I just wasted my time. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, this whole podcast might be a waste of time, but... It was obviously a waste of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't even use the fucking $150 microphone. Oh, uh, well, you can sit on it. It does look like a giant ice cream cone. You can hear your insides churning. <laughs> when I was adjusting Probably. the sound levels for it, I could hear the birds outside. Anyways, let's let's hear what you have to say besides herpes and grayscale, <laughs> which was... <laughs> Which was, yeah. is, is grayscale the, we started over. Is grayscale the herpes of <laughs> Game of Thrones uh, diseases? I, I think so. Um, I don't know. I kind of just wanted to talk about characters that are probably going to be upcoming in the season. Like uh, like what I brought up uh, beforehand. Urine. Was urine. If all, the, <laughs> if all the grayscale people had to go to a specific island... Like, is that what happens? No, it's, uh, it's the... The colony? Valeria, right? Yeah. 
they mentioned they ship them off. I think it's kind of like they would make like leper colonies. If they sent all the people in the world with herpes to uh, a Valeria or Venereal. Venereal, <laughs> Venereal what, Australia. What what would the population on? I mean, doesn't something isn't like thirty three percent of the population that's, has herpes? They wouldn't have to worry about using protection. That's the best thing ever. Well, and we wouldn't have to either. I'm fairly certain everybody here has had a cold sore. So yeah, but that's hereditary. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I didn't kiss somebody with a cold sore and get him. You we kissed would, me. We would have gotten them together at the same time all the time. So, Herpes is obviously, life, we're out of sync. Our periods have not aligned. You only get that shit once, and then you're done. Mm. Mm. Fucking herpes. Anyways, herpes scale. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, definitely glad that Khaleesi Daenerys has escaped was the naked? clutches. Oh yeah. oh, yeah, that was great. It was really her, too. And it was actually her, so that's even better. Yeah. Um, that she escaped the clutches of the crappy... Uh, the fake calls? Yeah, the fake calls. Did the only real picture? call is Cal Drogo. No. They had a picture side by side. Cal Drogo versus Cal. What was his name? Mongo or something? I hope it was Mongo. If it was, it was basically. Call him Cal Mongo. Uh, and it said, you know, your uh, generic brand versus your name brand. And it had so it was like of... adhesive strip versus band-aid? Yeah. <laughs> and you can see the difference. The quality was just... Who has know. longer hair? You Drogo. Know, I didn't look at that. I was looking at like Drogo had longer hair. Uh, pecs, and I was looking all over. Well, and that dude wore uh, armor. He, he was covered. Arms. Yeah, and Cal Drogo had just blue stripes coming down his chest. He had blue which stripes. Which really and showed it off. He had like a uh, like a kind of like a core piece of armor that was yeah. just over like his ass. We're doing a podcast, right? you fucking dog. Shut up. <laughs> Don't call your brother a dog, dude. Just soak a sponge in bacon grease, toss it over there. You're good. I didn't say that on. <laughs> Does that kill a dog? Yeah, <laughs> really? Yeah, that's fucked up. Why do you know that? I I just I just do. Did James tell you? No, I learned that when I was in like seventh grade. Did by killing one dog? One no, dog? I didn't say that. It's a little known <laughs> fact. He won't say it on audio. I would never kill a dog. On no purpose. Unless no. it was trying to eat me. It lived, <laughs> but barely. <laughs> so what are we talking? Cal Drogo and uh, naked Khaleesi. Oh, if you're uh, glad she got away. Jon Snow hanging motherfuckers. Has, yeah. Dude, I was surprised that he... Hung Ollie? Yeah, I mean, but Ollie was a little shit, though. He like, deserved it. Even at the end, he was just that little stupid grin on his face. Like, I wasn't even really It's more that... like a scowl. Yeah. Yeah, that would be the correct word for it. But, yeah, I wanted him to die, too. You know, what's funny is, is he was the youngest, but he didn't say shit. He didn't plead for his life. That was, he just... that was the coolest part. He, he... He yeah. took it like a... I don't know. So you... Alistair took it kind of like a man. Pretty much like a man. Yeah. He defended his action. He was like, I'd take it. I'd do it again. The other was the, guys wait, what? One guy said, say something to my family. I don't think... No, that's, not, that's not a problem. About. One guy was like, oh, please, whatever. Yeah. Tell my wife I died fighting the White Walkers. Yeah. That, yeah, I guess that is a cop out. Tell your family, uh, whatever. But the other two took it like champs. Pretty bold. I like when you chopped off that guy's head last season and ha- hung people this season. Pretty badass stuff. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, Jon Snow's gonna fuck Ramsay up, and that's gonna be an epic battle. Yeah. Uh, I think they're both gonna get messed up. Watch Ramsay, Ramsay kill Jon Snow. Oh, uh, they wouldn't bring him back just to kill him. Nah. <laughs> that would be the ultimate. You, you, you have to assume that Jon Snow is gonna be riding through, picking up people that are Stark enthusiasts, enthusiasts, loyalists, and end up wrecking house, dude. And I hope it's one on one, Snow versus Ramsay. But Ramsay is it, more... as much as he's. Like one of the most hated people in the show, he is. He takes care of shit himself. Yeah, like it's. He's no joke. Um, it would be more cathartic if Sansa killed Ramsay because she got raped by him. I like that. I could imagine that. I but could see that like, Ramsay, she's not fucking around anymore either. Now that she's with family again. Yeah, um, Ramsay's not annoying, which Joffrey was, or a little bitch like Joffrey was. So t- two times as evil as Joffrey, but fucking two takes times care cooler. Of business, or wait, a yeah. hundred times cooler. So. Props to that. You have a villain that you can like and hate at the same time. Yeah. What about... So I've I've been also kind of... I've watched the episodes, the first four episodes, like multiple times in the past couple days. Um, just to catch like little things. One of the main things that I, I noticed was um, when Tyrion sets Daenerys' dragons free of the chains. Mm-hmm. And he... The first one he walks up to, he 
has he, he tells a story of basically how his dad told him that the last dragon had died a long time ago or whatever and, and, he, he, cried and he cried himself, himself to sleep, sleep. dumb <laughs> no but it, it, that line but like the ha, the fact that he had to like touch it and like hold his hand on it before he op- like just the look on his face and like I don't know it's got to be it, it kind of takes me back to when he first seen Drogon flying and it was just like yeah. the oh yeah. shit like It'd be like touching an elephant, you know, or something like I've that. Done that. Yeah, it's 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 nuts. I've ridden an elephant. That's cool. God damn it! You can ride them at the San Diego County Fair. Yeah. Until that, they go rogue and. What's you know. nice about doing a podcast and and recording, we're semi regular. It's probably, probably like every two weeks. Is that when we're talking about stuff? When you're arguing about stuff, sometimes it's like, oh, well, I said this, and somebody can say, no, you didn't. Corey called that Tyrion was going to be training these dragons or doing something with these dragons. No, no, I didn't. didn't. He's gonna be their friend. Prove it. I didn't. I could go back. I think it was episode like three or four. You did say. I mean, there's so, so many episodes times. now. I would never have said that. There's it's so many impossible. episodes. How about uh, Tommond talking with the High Sparrow? That kind of caught me off guard. How a lot of influence there? Yeah, lots of influence from the uh, creepy old guy. What episode do we finish? Just so we. No, it's four. Not four. There's four episodes. Yeah, because Marjorie just got done talking to him. Marjorie this, didn't mm, fall for that shit. Day no. after tomorrow is Sunday, and it'll be half over. Season will be half over already. I think I brought this up. How can the High Sparrow be like a, a big evil villain in our mind's eye when he's the most noble person, a pure person on the show? He has no agenda, no objective. This guy has no agenda. He's got to have an agenda. What a dick. Everybody's <laughs> placing him with some agenda. But basically, he's just preaching their version of the Bible. Which is, <laughs> no, he's like the biggest villain. You want Cersei Lannister, who's the evilest character, who killed some of your favorite characters in the show, and you want her to go kick that guy's ass. You're like, yeah, Cersei. Shows good writing. It's like a complete 360, you, where you turn around <laughs> and you walk the opposite way. Uh, but you're still just waiting for the other shoe to drop, I guess you would say, but what is his agenda? Because everybody in the show has had an agenda. Are they really going to have a character? That... You think they're going to drop something in? I think he's just going to keep doing what he's doing. You think he's going to keep doing what he's doing? Yeah. He's not going to release his little sparrows into the wild? Like, and... now that I've finally convinced you all I'm pure, here are my dragons. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so, because in the when he goes to... Uh... What if Jon Snow comes in and agrees with him and he has another ally that's... <laughs> yeah, in four seasons, maybe. There's only two seasons left out of this and they're partial he, seasons. He ain't gonna make it down there. He can't even get out of Castle Black. Well, I think by the end of this season, he'll have... He'll be the Warden of the North. And he'll have taken over all that. By the end of the season. I, so next season, he'll be marching towards maybe uh, King's I would, Landing. I would like him to spend all his time fighting White Walkers for the rest of the show and getting Daenerys to come help him. And that would be... I guess, yeah, that makes more sense. And the last episode, them marrying. and Brother and sister? Yeah. They, that's that's kind of weird, you know. No, they do that. That's Targaryens. That's what they do. But you know more than I do, so... Well, you know Targaryens. They mentioned in the show that they always... The Lannisters use that as to defend all their... Uh, what do they call it? Inbreeding? Incest? Incest, yeah. Incestual relationships. So, and the show may not make Jon Snow... You haven't seen your girlfriend Dorn in a little while. The one who killed everybody? No, the the one that had Bronn oh, that, on her finger. Dude, that chick's hot. Yeah, I mean episode two. Right? Your favorite? She uttered your favorite line in the whole series, right? What was that line, Robert? You want a good wife, but you need a bad. But you, but you want, but you need the bad pussy. Is what I can't mean. drop it. You can't <laughs> say it. I can't you say, can, it. say it. <laughs> Damn it! I can't say it. I can't. I'm sorry. You can drop the end bomb, but you can't say. I don't say the end bomb. <laughs> I don't say the n word. I don't. I'll drop the p word every once in a while, I suppose, but I won't say the c word. <laughs> I love dropping the c word, but you won't do it on here. No, of course not. You say the hard c. Yes. We well, say any, all the other racist words. No, we're not doing that here. We're I not. Know. How many? You say three off limits, but literally, I think it's gonna be like. Six. Yeah, I mean, there's Seven. we're we're not going to alienate the four fans that we have <laughs> by by. No, it's not gonna happen. But the p word, the p word, <laughs> it's not even a bad word. You could be talking about a cat. But we're not talking about. Cats. Imagine her talking she, about a cat. She was talking about a cat. Yeah, she's talking about a little cat. You know, you want a good little kitty, but you want you need the bad one. She's talking about cats the whole time. What do you think she's talking about? 
I don't know. She was just nude like 30 seconds earlier. It's hot, okay. Doran. Yeah, Doran. <sighs> Listen, Robert, if you're not a fan of pussy cats. I hate cats, by the way. <laughs> not alienate half does, of our uh, fan base. I, I hate cats. Cats are terrible. They <laughs> smell. They <laughs> give you diseases. They're like the dirtiest animal you can own as a pet. They give you diseases? Yeah. What post are we talking about? Oh, God. Look it up online, man. I, I'm. I, if. If we would have had the good microphone, I could have been looking shit up on my phone. <laughs> but it's it's a bacteria or something that's found in cat shit. And they found that it's transferable to humans. And it can affect the way your brain operates. Oh, God. Or like, I'm a hypochondriac. I look at WebMD all the time. If you ever type in anything on there, it says, Have you been licked or scratched by a cat lately? Because they can give you all kinds of shit because they're dirty fucking animals. That's terrifying. Also, They're disgusting. Get a dog. They actually love you and care about what's going on. Also say, have you had any encounters with the female reproduct- reproductive organ? Yeah. And it's the same thing. Okay. It's an STD. <laughs> uh, what's, why have we trail off? This is... <laughs> <laughs> DuckTales? I left off on Game of Thrones. Yeah, what were we talking about? Uh, Dorn, Bad P... <laughs> <laughs> Just say it, man. Bad P. Uh, we were talking about grayscale being herpes. What do you get grayscale on your pee? <laughs> well, I know. Anthony, want to talk about urine? Yeah. Urine? Uh, urine Greyjoy had like one of the most badass like dialogue intros I feel like in a long time. When he's talking to Balon and he's like. Hello, brother. I am the storm, brother. The first storm and the last. That just like, ooh. What like, was his name? Uh, Euron? Ur- Euron. Euron? Euron. <laughs> you know, I, I read today that they spray fox urine on trees <laughs> and let urine? it freeze. No, and they let it freeze for people that illegally cut down, I think, Christmas trees. So they, legal, they go cut these pine trees off in the forest, but they spray them with pee and... You can't smell the fox urine when it's when it's frozen, when it's frozen, but when you cut it down and put it in your house and it warms up, it the smell is so bad, they say it makes your eyes involuntarily water, and the <laughs> smell is, like, insufferable. Like, it, so, they're basically punishing these people that are going illegally cutting down trees. There's your fact. How do you get rid of day. it for the legal people? You're not allowed to legally cut down these trees. Oh. They're not there for harvesting? No, they're not there for harvesting. Oh. They're just people that are going out in the forest and cutting trees. So all these trees have fox urine on them. (laughs) Anyways, urine. That's that's a lot of fox urine somebody's collecting. Urine on the iron Is that a job? Collecting fox urine? They collect semen for all kinds of different animals. That's true. Lobster semen. Including hard hard pea cats. (laughs) (laughs) Lobster semen is in a lot of uh, hair conditioners. Is it? Mm -hmm. This isn't like the myth where like bull semen is in Red Red Bull. Bull. I don't know. I read it on the internet, so it's. I mean, it's everything on the internet is true. It's hit or miss. You'd be surprised how much semen you can find in your hair. <laughs> uh, urine, Iron Islands, Theon's back. Somewhat. Are they gonna? Is she gonna run the Iron Islands? But Theon's gonna be the face because he's the heir. It depends how the the trial or however that King's moot voting. Yeah, however that works. It's a moot point. It's a King's moot point. It's like a cow. Yeah. Opinion. So it's y- Moo. Urine killed Balon, his older brother. But they don't know that. No. And it's funny because uh, in the books they worship the drowned god. And the opposite of the drowned god is the storm god. I just got to stop you there. You guys never see this because we don't film it. I, we need to film an episode once we have a real sound. So, I mean when we move to our new sound studio with the excellent equipment. Yeah. Corey always looks like he needs to take a shit <laughs> when he's talking about <laughs> Game of Thrones. He gets his furrow in his brow, like if you're really constipated. Anyways, so the drowned god. Tell me more. Uh, do you have to go to the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to know more? No, you don't like that movie. No. Just quote, because quote, I say quote, quote Pulp Fiction. Just because I said Pulp Fiction is better than Co quote that. Coke quote? Go quote. Go quote quote. Anyways, you're in. Um so, <laughs> Yeah, so there's urine, Greyjoy. And the book says See? another brother. There's the shit face. Victorion, I believe. And, well, there was another one, too. He was a priest. That priest with the scraggly hair. He should have been a brother of Balond. And then you got... What's the... Yara? Yara, yeah. 
uh, and then she, w it, all four of them, or sorry, it should be three of them, besides other people, throwing their hats to be the king of the Iron Islands, all the lords get a vote, and all the captains. In the book, is, uh, in the show, it's probably going to be like a dozen people. In the book, it was like everybody. And I don't want to tell you who gets elected, but King's Moot, it's only happened, the last time it happened was like a thousand years ago in the book, so... It's not something that's called for at the end of it. every time somebody dies. It's time to like it could be anybody, any lord of the Iron Island. If they have they, they they're going to discuss their plan for the Iron Islanders. So it's like a democracy. It, they all get to say their plans and where things like, are going. They buy out votes basically. All everyone like a pirate almost. So it's like treasure. the U.S. democracy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they all throw out treasure like if you you know elect me as king, look what all the spoilers you guys can have, and they throw out diamonds and everything. I don't think we're going to see a quarter of that. I think we're going to see three people arguing over, like, a table, probably. I have a question for the both of you. Okay. Seeing as to how the creepy necromancer dude that brought back the mountain has Varys's little creepy children birds, um, <laughs> how do you think that's going to play out? He's going to use it in the same way. I don't think they're really going to dive into it any more than... I, I assume that was just a big reveal from over various saying my little birds tell me a secret I think that was just a big reveal of saying Varys is, gonna... he's not superhuman he used orphan boys which you've seen like you know orphan, Although... a little orphan boy talking to Jorah Mormont when they're about to poison the Khaleesi in season one varies with the bag of silver with the chick oh. Good talking about her son that was yeah, excellent that you, was... you got to see how he works you know what I mean I like that a lot and yeah. how cunning carry on the be. stick yeah same thing for a little spy so yeah He's talented. And there's another boy. Do you guys like that uh, flashback scene, right? Which? With Neil Patrick Harris? As <laughs> no, Ned Stark? The guy, yeah. That guy with the two swords kicked ass. Dude, yeah. that was one of the most badass sword fighting scenes I've seen in a little while. From Four Game on of one. Thrones. Yeah, and he just, when he stabbed that guy in the chest, and it went like halfway, and then he pushes it all the way, you're I was just like, oh! Oh. It kind of reminded me of, and it didn't remind me while I was watching it, but he like manhandled everybody. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like Christian Bale and Equilibrium when he's fighting guys around him and there's just nobody that can really match his skill level. Yeah. It's it's cool. I think, I, I actually have a swordsman. I remember everyone thought they were going to have that scene in the show months ago when they put out a call saying, we need like a local person who's really good, like swordsman, to do these and scenes. And you Yeah. Yeah. So I think they found somebody who actually knows how to handle their shit. Ray Park. Yeah, they should have got Ray Park. Every if there's a sword thing, just get Ray Park. Uh, everybody knows him though. So did they need to get somebody they didn't know? It might help. It might. I guess it needed to be. You don't want to put Robert De Niro in a fucking scene in a flashback and be like, the fuck is Robert De Niro doing there? They got Ian <laughs> McShane. He hasn't been in the show yet. Yeah, but he's gonna have. I mean, speaking role. Okay. Yeah, so the sword gonna have speaking role, but you know, what do you have? Two lines. Yeah, it wasn't much. Yeah, now it begins. Now it he'll begins. never talk again. Yeah. No, now it ends. Yeah. We just need to have you on here for accents. <laughs> We're not even going to have you in every episode. We'll just have you here. So in case we need an accent. <laughs> Do Sean Bean. No. Do Boromir. <laughs> it's the same guy. Yeah, Do a line from him. Do, uh... Damn it. Do, Do, Od Do Odysseus. <laughs> from the Odyssey? Yeah. But oh from uh but from Troy. Oh god. It's Sean Bean. Do Sean Bean from Black Death. I've never seen Black Death. Do the villain from the first uh National Treasure movie. Do the villain from Goldeneye. Oh god, you guys are killing me. <laughs> I can't you <laughs> well, do, do Christian Bale's partner from Equilibrium. I've only seen that movie once. It's an excellent movie. The, what are we missing? It's gotta be a lot. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm <laughs> <laughs> I know, show, he's in a show now, isn't he? I think it was on TBS, but I don't think it was. Do that TBS show. <laughs> <laughs> what TBS? He was on the side of the Marriott during Comic Con two years ago. Do that. Do do the Marriott. I don't even know what you guys are talking about now. <laughs> talking about Sean Bean, every role he's been in. <laughs> Can you just do Sean Bean as Sean Bean? If you <laughs> would, you name your kid Vanilla. Vanilla Bean. <laughs> That was such a bad joke. You can do a lot of bean jokes. Oh, what was that movie where they had all the clones? That was a good movie. With Ewan McGregor. Oh, they kept all the clones in a 
uh, Truman Style Show Place, the convinced ball. They all, they all. I haven't seen that. Did I that said, have, that have Scarlett Johansson in it? It had somebody like that. Yeah, I like that movie. Don't know what it's called, but do the villain that. Oh, why are you twitching so much? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck movie you're it's talking Sean about. Sean Bean. <laughs> what did you, did you have a topic today, Corey? Oh, are you there yet? Well, let's just hear what it is, and if it sucks, we'll go back to Game of Thrones. Okay. And making well, fun of Anthony. Well, I, I bring this up. It sucks. Yeah. Okay. So yesterday, I watched Pan. With Jason Isaac? No. Hugh Jackman? That, Wait, with Hugh Jackman. Pan? I think it was, wasn't it? Or was it called Peter? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> <laughs> A lot of names they cross up. You have, you know, Peter Are Pan. Are you talking about the Hulk. one with Hugh Jackman? The yes. one that you and I wanted to see, and then it got terrible ratings. Yes. Uh, so I watched it. And it is not good. I, but going I, in with no it's not, expectations. It's bad enough. I mean, not bad enough that I turned it off. I just got, you know. But, so I want to say, that had a good trailer. I, I thought it had a good trailer. Yeah, it did. I was say, any other movies that had really good trailers that sucked? I think the ultimate one, even though I liked it, was Watchmen. A lot of people didn't like Watchmen, and it had one of the best trailers. Period. I loved that trailer. Had that the Comic Con trailer? Yeah. Was it Smashing Pumpkins? They slowed down one of their you songs. You told me that once. That was from Batman and Robin. Yeah, yeah, and they That's slowed it. it down. Yeah. That was. I but I love Watchmen, so I mean, but there's a lot of movies that you know what's the opposite of that is I hate Star Trek, but I've liked the first two Star Trek movies that J.J. Abrams though. I, the I, new trailer is so fucking terrible. <laughs> Really? I, I haven't even seen no, the new trailer. Everything you see on screen is fine, but they set the pace in yeah, the Yeah, it's, it's the song. horrible. Yeah. And I get why they're using the song, because it was in the first one. I get it's that. Just, it's, it's, it's not good. It's it not good. It doesn't suit a sci-fi epic movie to have Beastie Because a trailer can make you want to see a movie or make you not want to see a movie. I mean, the trailer oh, yeah. for Civil War, when they showed Spider-Man, I got giddy. Yeah, that was fine. Uh, when I remember th- it was a bad one, but not so bad. I remember when I seen the trailer for Matrix 2 in theaters. At the time, Matrix 1. It's still one of a f- the fucking best movies ever. Matrix 1. Is, I love the first it's Matrix so tight. movie. And Matrix 2, I, I, I remember thinking, I, back in the day, you didn't have internet. You didn't know movies were coming out. I was bombarded with it. The trailer in the theater. I'm like, holy fuck, now he's like God because he can fly. Yeah, yeah. And it looks so fucking tight. And although it's not a bad movie, even the first time I watched it, I thought it was a good movie. It was a spectacle of it. That it's really... much better after you watch the third one. Agreed. They went downhill fast. I remember watching the third one coming out of theaters and being like, what the fuck uh, just happened? The CG for the second one hasn't aged well. Like the fucking fight with Mr. Smith. The oh, combat. Yeah. I haven't watched it in It a looks long time. so CG. It's <clears throat> even, even Pan had CG that looked so bad. It's, it's, it's ridiculous now when you see movies with bad CG. Things have come so far. I mean, I guess if you have a really shitty budget... Yeah, you might have some crappy CG, but why would anything? I mean, if it, <clears throat> I don't the know. big big budget movies shouldn't, but they pay. I remember seeing things like the studios that make CG that make like nothing. They have horrible working conditions, but it's another thing. They they sub out to different yeah studios unless you're like Pixar, you know, which that's your whole movie. Well, I mean, the big ones you see is Weta. I mean, they do a lot of good stuff, and I was like, Weta was almost infallible until you see. Like some of the Hobbit movies have, this. it's not bad CG. It's just it looks so. I think we're so giving well. that a dismissal though from the the timeline they had to work on it. I agree. We talked about that hey, outside. Do you know this? Because Gu- Guillermo del Toro was supposed to do the Hobbit movies. Really? Yeah, and he was signed on for a long time. It was like back and forth, like Peter Jackson would be kind of producer. Uh, he was, yeah, like a consultant. A, almost. He had a lawsuit pending with New Line Cinema because he didn't get all his royalties or something agreed upon. And with they he, settled. Del Toro was supposed to do the Hobbit movies, and then he dropped out, and Peter Jackson took over. And he, with Lord of the Rings, he had years to do all the stuff he wanted to before they started filming. Yeah. This he had stuff arriving on set when they were supposed to film. Things weren't completely oh. written. Yeah, from the last DVD, somebody it, it's now got it was making waves on the internet. There's like a, one of the behind the scenes, like showing basically like an eight minute little documentary how rushed they were. He's like, we had three years to produce Lord of the Rings before we ever shot a single shot, before we went down to New Zealand. We fil- we organized everything, planned shots, everything. This one, I had a year to do three movies. And there's something to show up on set, and I'm writing stuff, I'm planning scenes and shots the day of. I tell them to take a long lunch break, and I'm planning, I'm losing my mind, because every 30 minutes I have seven people coming up to me, trying to 
asked me for what they should be doing when it I'm makes trying you, to figure out what I'm doing. And he's, it makes it you realize how you know the movies were. They're not great, but they were good movies. And they were the only reason. I they're mean, better than Matrix movies. Yeah, <laughs> the fact that he got them that good with that short period of time is pretty. And I mean Matrix two and three. I don't mean Matrix one. The Hobbits are not better than Matrix one. But I don't know. Lord of the Rings is better than Matrix no. Yeah, 1. no. I'm, I was saying like the Hobbit one, two, three are better than Matrix two and three. So Peter Jackson rushed is better than whatever those sisters are called now. <laughs> the w- w- Wachowski, Wachowski sisters. The yeah. Taker sisters, what? Well, they were the Wachowski brothers. Then one turned into a trans, and so they became the Wachowskis. Uh, like on their around the time like Speed Racer came out, I think it just said the Wachowskis, and now I think the other one became trans as well. So, so I, they're the Wachowski figured, sisters. Yeah, they did do they switch it. it to sisters? That'd be kind of cool. No, that would, that's the that's a joke. But uh, <laughs> I think they did a full 360 there. Are you gonna keep doing the 360? <laughs> well, yeah, you know, it's like the Xbox 360. You turn around and walk away. <laughs> that was such a bad. People are dumb. Uh, not our listeners. Our listeners are very smart, especially Travis Angelus. <laughs> uh, weren't we going to talk about something about uh, uh, trilogies? And we were talking about it at work. But he didn't even mention any trailers. Anthony wasn't even chip in. For what? Trailers. Why don't you chip in, Anthony? Why don't you speak? I haven't seen any good trailers. Like, Ever? In the history What's of your, your life? trailer? Dead Island? Oh, God. That is the best trailer probably ever. Do you remember the Dead Island trailer? No. That was shot what? almost in reverse. What? It had like really sad music playing and it was the daughter biting the dad. Oh, that's fucked up. You know, we go video game. All the Assassin's Creed like CG trailers they released. I mean, now I don't know if they had any, but like between starting from like 2 to 2.5 to 3. <laughs> uh, all the CG. I mean, which one did you, you like? One of them a lot. The one with the first one with Ezio. No, it was think, the second one with Ezio. I think you like Revelation. I remember you talking like, oh my god. Yeah, because cool he was video. older. Yeah. And I hadn't seen it, but when I played it, I'm like, holy but shit. There was one for Unity while all four people hunting something. I was like, these trailers are fucking badass. You like, know what I don't like? Oh, I have another one. Go ahead. I don't like the Avatar picture for Uncharted 4 with Nathan Drake just kind of holding his gun to the side and looking down. It doesn't look like him. It doesn't even look like him. I have to look at it closer. Don't get it, but... I'm not going to go get it, but you'll see it. It's the... It's the... Sometimes I question game cover sometimes. It's yeah. a, it's the cover and it's the little logo on your PlayStation when you're getting ready to start it up. Okay, I'll look at it. I I hadn't noticed. Side note: Uncharted Four. Corey and I are both playing it. Excellent game. Review to come. Yeah, yeah. Good game. Glad they delayed it. Uh, that's funny. Movies when movies get delayed, you know it's bad. When games get delayed, it's probably good. Like Suicide Squad wanting to make more jokes. Yeah. And Pan got delayed. That's what I was thinking of too. Like half a year at one point in time. Something got delayed, and was it Deadpool? Deadpool got delayed. Well, that's one of the few exceptions, I guess. Because that movie's awesome. You see Ron Perlman's uh, trying to get Cable. Would anybody be upset about Ron Perlman playing Cable? That's an excellent, no. excellent one. I, Ron Perlman, anything. Yeah. I, I, Do you hate him in anything? I thought about the guy from uh, Avatar. What was his name? Stephen Lang? Yeah. But after Ron Perlman's been kind of lobbying for the spot, I would pick Ron Perlman. Not your decision. It's It should be. It's who wants less money. It'll be Stephen Lang. Maybe. But Ron, I saw a thing and Ron Perlman posted he's like me playing Cable Cable should want to fucking play me <laughs> that's the kind of attitude you yeah. need to have going into that yeah. I think um, that, I think they delayed Deadpool though because of the 4K formatting or whatever I think that's really why they did it <sighs> Anthony's gotta bring in TV stuff I love TV stuff I oh. sell TVs all day at work <sighs> we're not allowed to talk about where we work on the podcast I didn't say that I could work at Radio Shack for all they know I don't I think saw, you can. No, I saw Radio Shack recently, but they don't sell TVs. I work at Blockbuster. <laughs> <laughs> I work at some other place that went out of business, and I'm not smart Circuit enough City. to think of a place really quickly. Anyways, trailer, <sighs> Anthony. Anthony just gave me the finger. I, I, I haven't seen any really good trailers lately. I'll no, like again. a trailer that uh, I saw like looked one... good and the movie was shitty. This company always oh. gets some fucking right. This is a good video game trailer. Sorry, not bad one. Is Blizzard. Anytime they make a fucking CG trailer, like all the Warcraft expansions or Diablo. StarCraft, Diablo, those CG trailers fucking kill it. They, are, the they moves, almost just right? completely make a story. I mean, it's yeah. excellent. Like, I, the one that sticks out the best one, I, I thought, like, uh, Wrath of the Lich King trailer, just that CG is bad. I still hold, I wish they made a whole movie out of that, which they're making a movie, which 
I have a. That would be good. <laughs> I had the collector's edition of Diablo 2, and it came with a disc that had all the cutscenes put together back to back. Put that on. I watched one time that somebody collected all the Uncharted cutscenes and just put them. It's like a full length movie on YouTube. You just sit back and watch that. It's That's awesome. cool. Yeah. I feel like the, the trailer for the, mo- the, the game The Order was way cooler than the actual game was. It was very, like, aesthetically pleasing. Like, it looked really good, but the game was super linear. There wasn't anything really... I still need to play that. It's it's really good, but there's not replayability at all. There's no reason to go back. I mean, I will love it. There's not a lot of secret <laughs> stuff that you can find. Like, I don't I, have time to go back. Can you put it on easy? Yeah. Robert, this is the game for you. I'm not Travis. <laughs> Travis said last week, he's like, I put it on easy and I just want to go. That's Isn't that what he said? Uh, he said something like that, but who was listening? I was. We have a few people that actually listen. Yeah. A few thousand. Oh, yeah. I'm sure we do. Yes, go on to at Sly Comics and let me know you listen. Yeah, tweet him. Because if you don't tweet him, he won't know. Well, the fucking thing on iTunes, it just says popularity and there's a bar. There's no mathematical equation that shows you how many people are listening or how many people subscribe. You figured they would say, hey, you have this many subscribers. No, it doesn't work that way. What if only half listen to it? How can they judge that? I don't care. As long as they start listening. As long as I hear your promos every week? Yeah. Brought to you by dogs barking. (laughs) (laughs) Brought to you by the humming of the refrigerator in the garage. (laughs) Brought to you by that fucking laptop broke. Piece of shit. Fucking. Newsflash. The house down the street's burning down. Oh, yeah. There was a fire on the street. <laughs> Not brought to you by the P word. Yeah. <laughs> or the hard C. <laughs> uh, Three hard Cs. I had a I had a question. Riddle me this. That Anybody question? watching Gotham? No? All right. Doesn't matter. That wasn't my question. No. Bad show. Uh, it has its moments. It's pretty cool. Eh. It has its moments. Uh, I've never seen it. So they announced a uh, Harley Quinn movie is either in pre-development or they're planning on putting one out. <clears throat> and there's a Wonder Woman movie. So DC has effectively put two movies into some sort of production that have female leads before Marvel's put a single one in. And there's been rumors of them saying that Black Widow's going to get her own movie, but they haven't said anything official. So DC is going to beat Marvel to punch on a female-led movie. Probably two before they get one out. I would rather see a Harley Quinn movie than a, a Black Widow movie. And I haven't seen Suicide Squad. I don't know the direction to go in. From the outset, that sounds more appealing. If you put... I'm not a Scarlett Johansson fan. You'd have to put all the main characters in her movie. It would make it their movie. You'd have to be... They would have to have a new... Like, Black Widow's the sidekick to Captain America in Winter Soldier. She'd have to have her own sidekick that wouldn't steal the spotlight from her... The only yeah. way I'd find it cool is the <clears throat> Black Widow Origins. That would be cool. And you got to see some of her early missions. Like the Red Room and... Yeah. And her like encounters with Bucky, which she hinted at in Civil War. I would like it... I would be on board if it was Emily Blunt instead of Scarlett Johansson. Because she was originally supposed to play Black Widow, but there was a scheduling mm-hmm. conflict. I like Emily they Blunt. They can't change midstream. I know. I not, know they can't. Not with everybody else still the same character. I understand. Except for Rhodey. Uh, nobody remembers... What's his name? Iron Man 1. What was that guy's name? Who was a piece of shit? Terrence Howard? Yeah, Terrence Howard. Yeah. Because he was getting paid more than Robert Downey Jr.? Yeah. I, I think they did that with somebody else, too, didn't they? Well, John Farber. The, the Hulk bit. Edward Norton. Eric Bana? No, but I mean, I think Edward Norton's movie is officially in the MCU it is. canon. Yeah. So, there was a... I just saw that the soda plant that Edward Norton was working at in Brazil was on... Uh, posters in San Francisco in Ant-Man. So, I mean, just little things like that would make them link to the same universe. That's pretty cool. I mean, General Ross. Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, that's a big role. Yeah. <laughs> some, some, some fucking poster. So, they, in that sense, they explain what happened to Liv Tyler. They didn't even give her a Pepper Potts shout-out. Yeah, they didn't. So, he's all hitting on... She the, did. ...the Black Widow. I told you she and did. And he's got a girlfriend somewhere like, where the hell is... <laughs> uh, Eric Bana at you can't have, <laughs> you can't ever have sex with him. I mean, they've hinted at that, right? With Scarlett Johansson in. Is it angry sex? Well, when his heart rate starts going too high, he turns into the Hulk. You're gonna turn the Hulk when you're inside of somebody. Is it they say heart rate? 
Maybe, maybe that's well, what she that's gets off on. That whole thing with Edward Norton, if you say they're linked, he had the heart rate watch that when his heart rate got too high. Oh, fuck. It's been a while since I watched it. And one. even, even uh, Ruffalo was like, I can't... I can't get to... That's funny. The Incredible There's Hulk no future counts. with me. That guy who had that stuff jumping out of his head just died of cancer. <laughs> There's no villain there. Yep. That guy's just smiling because he died. What else was that guy in? Uh, that movie, Where Art Thou, Brother? Huh? Oh, yeah. I like that movie. Oh, Brother, Where Art Thou? Yeah. That's a great movie. Yeah, that's the one. James likes that movie. That's a tight, it's a tight spot. I'm trapped up in the barn. I haven't seen it in so long. It's oh, been a long God. time. That song is my jam. But do you think do you think it's a misstep for Marvel not to have a female led movie? I honestly no, they're taking their fucking movies to the bank. I just don't think they've really thought about it. If they're making tons of money making fucking the top ten every fucking movie they put out, I don't think they think, oh, we're doing something wrong here. I mean, sexist wise, uh sexism is kinda fucked up. But they have a lot of females in the movies and they're not underrepresented. Where are all the Asians? Who cares? I don't know. Whoa! <laughs> I know that's a big thing the that there's not, any, there's not any there's not any serious Asian. There's that Korean scientist. There's well, I'm a... in Avengers two. Why are you cutting me off? Uh, I should know her name. Something, Wan or just Wang or Seoul. Anyways, uh, it's that there's not a lot of Asian people Chow. in in Doctor Strange. It was Chow. In Doctor Strange. Oh, there's not. No, I think there's one. Well, the thing was is that what is who what's the creepy girl from from Constantine? Yeah, she's Asian. No, they picked her instead of like an Asian person cuz that's what it was supposed no, to be. No, but she looks Asian. She, she doesn't she doesn't It's no appears that she looked a little Asian. She doesn't look anything. She <laughs> I mean, she's a blank slate. She's a, that's exactly what she is. She's a blank slate. Hey, they blew up the Asian chick. Lex Luthor blew up the Asian chick is a uh, You see? That's DC though. That's racist. Why is that racist? We are, like, bordering on inappropriate here. No, Borderline. they killed the only Asian in that movie. I think the Chow lady lived in Avengers 2. I think. I don't remember. Are oh. you sure Ultron didn't, like, punch her in the he, chest he or something? He flashed her, but I'm pretty sure she's, like, a doctor who can fit, repair cells, so I'm thinking she's fine. Anybody but her own. <laughs> <laughs> was she fucking Darth Plagueis or what? Yeah. Don't go there. <laughs> We're not talking the extended universe. We, of, uh... we can't talk Star Wars? We can talk Star Wars. But yeah. the... And Sharon Carter was awesome in Captain 2 for, like, the two minutes she had. She had, like, three scenes. Sharon Carter? Yeah, that's right. The other one was Peggy Carter, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, how many females were in that movie? Any more? Oh, but those are some good oh, family genes. The, the Scarlet Witch. She was awesome. She's tight. Yeah, but it, why? if she's so good, then why aren't they giving her own movie? Who the fuck would want to go see a Scarlet Witch movie? Or not Scarlet Witch, I thought we were talking... Scarlet Witch, Black Widow, whatever. Yeah. Scarlet Spider. I wouldn't want to see either of them. <laughs> They're all spiders. Scarlet's web. They'd have to be paired with Captain America, in which case they call it Captain America. I guess Michael Keaton's back in negotiations for Spider-Man. Batman. Spider-Man. Fuck that. Homecoming. Batman. Bring him Spider -Man. back. Batman. Bring him back. <laughs> Spider-Man. Batman. <laughs> Why haven't they ever made a... Birdman. <laughs> Why haven't they ever made a uh, Batman Beyond movie? I thought they were. It would make to. too much money. They're afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> because because what was his name? Terry. Where's Brian when you need him? Terry. Batman Beyond was Terry. Ba Brian, where are you? <laughs> Brian, tweet me. <laughs> That's like comics. <laughs> Fix this. Anyways, it's because he makes jokes, and they they won't make a Batman Beyond movie because you can't make jokes in DC movies. That's the stupidest fucking. That's why they don't make Batman. And when they and when they make a joke, it's like, is she with you? I thought she was with you. Granted, okay, that was slightly <laughs> funny. No, uh, it was just terrible. It wasn't like... It's too cliche. That's the bad thing about Marvel movies. When you go in there, as badass as the action is, when they throw out a funny-ass joke, like two minutes later... Everything hits. Yeah. the All the Winter Soldier jokes with uh, Hawk, or Falcon. The Falcon. Yeah. Yeah. They it were was great. subtle and funny as shit. Yeah. That's what DC needs. Funny as shit? Yeah. I, hey, Jim Carrey, you know, that Woman, didn't work. That Wonder Woman movie ain't going to be funny unless Chris Pratt... Chris, Chris Pine? Pratt's, Chris Pine? Pratt, what did I say? You said Chris Pratt. Yeah, they need Chris Pratt. Pratt is in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Put his face on Pine's face, <laughs> and they'll be fine. Is that like re-recording somebody's voice after they've already done all the lines for a animated movie? Yeah. Who did that? That did... I think Chris Farley? Wasn't he Shrek originally? He was Shrek. He filmed, what? He filmed yeah. a bunch of Shrek. 
I did not know that. Just look at him. I think Mars Needs Moms or something had Seth Green as as the voice for somebody, and then they get Seth Rogen. They <laughs> yeah, they went to Seth Rogen. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, I haven't seen the first Neighbors. I need to watch it. It's, it's it, But when what's her face? Neighbors is a funny. Have you seen the trailer for the second one? When she's like, maybe this yeah. will change your mind. It fucking cracks me up every time I see that trailer. What'd she do? She's talking to somebody and she has a handful of change. It's like when you fucking. <laughs> <laughs> neighbors was ten hundred. It was way funnier than it should have been. <laughs> and it, this one looks like it looks even funnier. Uh, Zach Braff, not Zach Braff. Uh, Efron. Zach Efron is. Uh, you know what? I, I hate to say it. I actually like Zac, Zac Efron, and I haven't even seen the Neighbors movie. I, I like him too. I and, saw him in a. But um, Franco's brother was in that movie too. To go funny, to go full circle, Zac Efron was in a movie called Liberal Arts with Josh Radner, who was on How I Met Your Mother. He directed it, but it was with Scarlet Witch. What's her name? Something Olsen. She's an Olsen girl. Mm-hmm. Did you know that? Mm-mm. You know who Ashley and Mary Kate Olsen are? Of course. Scarlet Witch is their sister. Now more famous. Really? Now more famous, yeah. But probably still worth much less money. Yeah. No, but they were in a movie together and Zac Efron was in it. It was kind of funny. I thought you liked the Zac Efron movie with the uh, Chandler Bing. Okay, we're not going into the terrible movies that I like. What was that called? The one 13 where... 13 going on 30? No, but I like that movie that too. That was a good movie. Because get... you see Andy Serkis and he's gay and he does the thriller dance. Yeah. And which one? The 13 going on 30 13 one? going on 30, yeah. That had Mark Ruffalo in it. That had the Hulk. Pre-Hulk. And Jennifer Garner played uh, Jessica Jones, right? In Alias, wasn't that Jessica Jones? I never watched Alias, but Alias is what Jessica Jones is from, right? Is that a Marvel thing? Yeah. I never watched a second of Alias. I didn't watch it either, but I'm assuming... She played Elektra and... Uh... Oh, she was in Elektra. I could have just said she was in the Marvel Universe there. God, Don't terrible. even count it. Don't count anything she's in. <laughs> no, but what is that movie with... It is. It's with Chandler Bing. It's with Matthew Perry where he goes back in time... Well, he gets to his younger self and... Oh, they switch bodies. Oh, what's the what's the guy's name that's uh, that kisses uh, that guy that kisses Scott Lang that kisses who's Scott Lang? Come on, Corey. We're we're Can't Paul Rudd. Yeah. No. That kisses Paul Rudd and I love you, man. The the gay guy at the beginning. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? He's in all kinds of stuff. He was in. It was a dangle. I'm trying to think of I love you, man. In the beginning. Was it dangle and Reno 911? Oh, probably. If you, that guy was from Balls Super of Fury. Super short shorts, right? You yeah. Know, you know yeah. him from Balls of Fury, unfortunately. Yeah. He, no, I know him from, well, I guess I don't know him from any, much of anything. He plays like the roommate or uncle or something. But he the... was in that movie with Zac Efron and Matthew Perry, and he was fucking hilarious. He was like a software engineer, and he made this stuff, and he had all this money, and he was trying to woo this girl with all these Lord of the Rings quotes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it was actually, Katrina made me watch it. She's like, watch this. She, and I like chick flicks more than she does. She's like, watch this. I know you're going to like it. I'm like, I'm not going to watch this. And I think she went away on something and I watched it. I'm like, oh, this is actually kind of good. Yeah, you're a sucker for girl movies. I love girl movies. I've made her go to the store to buy me girl movies. Oh, I was watching some movie with, I think it was Ashley Judd and Hugh Jackman. And I didn't see the end of it. I had to go pick her up at the airport. And on the way back from the airport, I'm like, Katrina, you need to go buy this movie so I can finish watching it. Oh, I, I think I know what movie you're talking about. I think it's called like... It's not like Prisoners, it's some... Anything with Hugh Jackman in it is good. Yeah, you know, Swordfish. He had a nickname cam- huge. As he has this week, he had a cameo from the last um, Night at the Museum movie. I didn't see that. Is that the third one? I guess. Was he Wolverine? It's probably the last movie Robert Williams did. Did he say, go fuck yourself? He was playing himself on stage as King Arthur, but the, the guy who was Lancelot, the, like, the real Lancelot from the Wax Museum... Walked on stage and I was confused and then wanted to fight him. Nice. And so uh, Hugh Jackman uh, pretended he was Wolverine and pulled out like fake. Uh, he just did his, his dance and yelled. And then his, Lance was like, "What are you doing?" And the lady on stage, the other actress, I don't know who it was, said, "Oh, he's doing his Wolverine impression." Nice. And Hugh Jackman's like, "Yeah, it usually works." <laughs> I thought that was a funny shit. That makes me want to watch that movie. Hey, did you ever see the third Ocean's movie, where Bruce Willis was in it as Bruce Willis? Yes. And they had Julia Roberts try to impersonate herself. That was the weirdest thing. It's Julia Roberts playing a character who looks like Julia Roberts. So she's pretending to be Julia Roberts in front of Bruce Willis. When she's obviously not. It's the weirdest yeah. plot line to introduce that in the movie. That was not a good movie either. No, it... I like the first two actually. The second one had the Grey Wolf in it. He was stealing shit before them. Yeah, the French guy. Yeah. yeah. That was pretty good. Yeah. I would say they... They go in descending order for me. Why hasn't the guy with all the scars on his face that was in Gladiator and Sin City been in, in 
Game of Thrones. It just seems like a thing that he could be in. Which guy? He was busy for a while doing Sons of Anarchy. Was he? Yeah. The guy he has like cuts all over his face. He's like scars. Not Seal. You seen Sons of Anarchy? No. Speaking of Seal, are you going to see that movie with uh, Andy Samberg as the Pop King or the Pop Not Guy? Theater, probably. That looks fun. <laughs> it that does. Looks funny shit. I guess he was on The Voice recently, like as that character. That's awesome. Yeah. Andy Samberg is. Can do no wrong. Child. And you don't even watch. Uh, no. Brooklyn Nine Nine. Do you I, watch it? I don't I watch it. Then. That show is fucking hilarious. hilarious. I don't watch so the Adam Sandler movies, but still, he's he, he's like a little golden child. You can't fault him. Do no wrong. Yeah. What's funny is he's great in that show. He's not even my favorite character. The captain, he has like the driest. He, he just he he's so monotonous that everything is super dry. I I don't know why he just fucking cracks me up. So he's like the guy from Parks and Rec. Yeah, but like wait, there's no joking around. He's just. There's no jokes coming out of his mouth. There's no favorite. jokes, and he's my favorite. <laughs> okay. Phoebe's your favorite, too? No. Phoebe's the worst on the show. Is Phoebe's uh, the eight, uh, the Asian chick, right? Phoebe? Yeah. And what are we talking about? Are we ta- are we still talking about... Uh, we moved on to Friends. No, this is Diverse oh, Friends. No, no, Have no. you seen the, the sequel <laughs> to Friends? They all play... They're a different ethnicity to diversify. Phoebe's my least favorite. Joey is my favorite. So I, this is Dude, a, Joey has some Martin Logan speakers in his living room. I'm jealous. Did you a, know that? This is a little bit before <sighs> your time. I think you were probably like two when Friends came out. <laughs> I've watched Friends more at this point than any other TV show ever, except for Lost. You watched Lost? No. I watched like two seasons of Lost, and then it got really weird, and I was like, nah. I watched two episodes no. of Lost, and was like, nope. <laughs> you watched the first two? Yep. And that turned you off? Yep. Why? I just couldn't... I didn't like it. It was like season three or four that got weird. It got some time stuff. It was one whole season with time I've actually... Jumps. From listening to you, I've heard some things that were kind of cool about the show. But I'm just like... There mm. were a ton of things that were cool. There was some shit that was uh, weird. so cool. Um, it, that's my like, top five favorite shows. What um, would your number one show be? Game of Thrones. Yeah? What would your number two? Top five now. Uh, it's hard to no, say. No, top five now. Because I'd, I'd have to think about some nostalgia picks. I, I, I won't even make you pick, like, pick a, them in my, order. My adult life shows, it's like Breaking Bad's on there. When are you an adult? When have you been considered an adult? Who's uh, ever looked at you and said, there goes an adult? You did, though, yesterday. Okay, anyways, top five favorite shows. And you don't have to put them in order. Uh, it's hard to say. So I have to do shows I've seen most of. Or like a lot of. I guess you do one season show. Uh, Taxi Cab Confessions. Um, I have to think on it for a minute. Back to what shows have we watched together? Besides all the porno, I'm, I'm drawing blanks at the moment. I, I'm shooting blanks at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't sound super. This can't be my top five, but fucking Avatar: The Last Airbender. Oh, oh, I love yeah. that show. Do you watch Legends of Korra? I watched two seasons of it. I think. Well. One and a half seasons. I trailed off. I try to watch it live. I could rattle off four easily because I would put Game of Thrones, Walking, Walking Dead, Dead, Breaking Bad, and Friends on my top four just without even thinking. I'd have to think about what I want to put at number five. Walking Dead, no. Without the well, come on. I'm not saying it's the best show ever. No, I'm I mean, my, my list. No, I understand. No, I would have put How I Met Your Mother on there, except the last season was so bad. I wanted to, I wanted to go back and watch it because there's little hints through the whole thing, and the jokes are great, and the continue, you know how. The continuity mm-hmm. that they that they have from season to season is awesome. It's second to none. But they screwed it up so bad with the last season, I never want to go watch it again. Same thing with Dexter. I'm just like, uh, oh, Dexter might come back. Really? Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. That's yeah. super exciting because I hated their last episode. I was so right? pissed. I was so pissed. Because that was a good show. Yeah, and then the Rooney, he's a fucking lumberjack. Yeah. Leaves his kids. Spoilers for Corey. Well, well, I fucking heard that. that show, how, when, when did that show end? And both those shows I, I, I ended the same year, How I Met Your Mother and Dexter, and they were both fucking awful. Yeah. You should watch, like, Dot and Abby. No. 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 Watch... I think we've all seen Ashley Green's tits too many times. Was she um, Dot and Abby? What? Yeah. yeah, right. That's actually the chick that played, that was in the new 300. That's not right? Ashley Green, right? No, no. What she's her no, but I, I know what yeah. you're saying, but I'm pretty sure Don Abbey's not that kind of show. It's on PBS. <laughs> yeah, sure. There's it a is. show. <laughs> what show are you talking about? What are you talking about? There, there's a show. That, this is like that little <laughs> the British show where like it's the they live in like an estate and the the, the Lord Grantham and his family and the maids and I've, butlers. I've never seen. it. I've just seen the cover and I know that chicks on it that was in 300. And that's no, I think you're mistaken. No, I'm pretty sure. Look it up. We'll have to pull up the cover and say. It's the most PG show. The, the, the like in season one, the worst thing that happened is a character trips another one, and 
the show makes you think it's, like it feels like a big deal because of the context of the show. Eva Green, that's her name. Yeah, I was close. Ashley Green totally, is the girl from which uh, she showed us recently. Yeah. but no, Don Abbey is so <laughs> PG. Uh, Sin City Two apparently has a lot of Eva Green boob in it. Katrina's like, you didn't miss anything unless you want to see your boobs, and then I'm like, well then I missed everything. I missed everything. <laughs> It's like watching 300 too. You didn't miss anything unless you want to see her naked. Well, I mean... I, oh, yeah. <laughs> Anthony, come on. What, what show are you talking about? Uh, it's fucking down to Abby. I'm, I'm serious. You are as high as a kite. Maybe somebody looks like her, but there, there's no nudity. There is some... So while you're looking that up, what would your top five favorite shows be? Uh, it kind of sucks because we all said kind of like the, the top three. Well, Game know, of Thrones is... Game of Thrones, Walking Dead... Um, Oh, man. Yeah, it is. I couldn't throw that up there. But... You know what's none of us have watched? It's supposed to be... It, it. It's second to only Breaking Bad on ratings thing is The Wire. I've never watched The Wire. And it's Me supposed either. to be I want incredible. Wire. You watch Firefly? I've never what finished is Firefly? It. I've heard so much about it, but I have no I idea. Get, I get crap. I started watching it before Corey and I never finished it. It's just only like 13 fucking episodes. It's got whatever. Nathan Fillion in it and Alan so, Tudyk. You know, Joss... <laughs> <laughs> you like that? You know who Joss Whedon is nowadays? No. He directed Avengers, Buffy. Did he write Buffy or did he... Well, he was involved with Buffy. I've heard his name. I don't so know. So he's a showrunner. Like. So he's a guy who directed... He brought your Marvel Cinematic Universe to where it is today. He directed Avengers. He did Firefly and it was a show on Fox and it got canceled so, and it's very he, loved by a lot uh, of people. Yeah, yeah I've heard so, like really good things about it. But So he's a super nerd guy and he made a couple shows. Everybody was like, Joss Whedon. So he... He's what the Breaking Bad guy is. Breaking Bad, you know, whatever he does, he, his, his yeah, his crowd follows him. So he made Buffy and some other show, Angel and something else. So he made Firefly, which is space uh, cowboy western mm-hmm. thing, but in space. And it got horrible ratings, but the people who were his fans loved it, and it got canceled prematurely. And people were like, fuck no, and it got such an outcry. Years later, they, they made proved, a movie. They made a standalone movie sequel, well, like to cap it off. And the hardcore fans of that loved it, but it, didn't, it was a financial failure. And, well, that's what it said. So everybody still talks about Firefly with such reverence. Deadwood. Have you guys ever seen Deadwood? That? I would that like to watch an, that, too. That is an awesome show that they left off. It got canceled um, after the second season for some stupid reason. And they left it off on this huge cliffhanger. And I watched the second season. I'm like, sweet. Let's start season three. And then, Never again. And then James was like, oh, it's... They, I think they, the reason they canceled it is because Rome and Deadwood were filming at the same time, and they were both really, really expensive shows, and they ended up canceling. Didn't Rome get canceled anyway? Yeah, they both got canceled. It's messed up. And then they even said afterwards that it was a mistake that they canceled it, but they had already destroyed all the sets. Yeah. And they were. Took, I mean, it, it. It was millions and millions and millions of dollars worth of sets. That's. Uh, Did your Hannibal show end on a cliffhanger? Yeah. That sucks. They still said that they they want to bring it back. Arrested Development would be my top five, I think. Really? Yeah. I'd put that above Curb, so that'd be my comedy on the list. I don't know what my fourth one would be. I, it might be... Do I get shit for saying... I love Scrubs. <laughs> Scrubs? Yeah. And it actually ended oh. great. South Park, number one. Sorry. Forgot. Ooh, I might have to throw Futurama on there instead of Scrubs. Yeah. Because Futurama's not my favorite, but Futurama's fucking awesome. Yeah. If, if we're talking cartoons now, like Cowboy Bebop, that's... Definitely makes top five. If any of you guys know what Cowboy Bebop, I know what it is. By the way, know what it is. Oh man, dude, I don't really like anime, but that show was kick ass. <laughs> I'm watching anime right now. What is with... it? You made you seen it. I've talked to Robert. Yeah. One this is so out. weird. No, it's on Netflix. Netflix not original, but they have streaming rights. Seven Deadly Sins. I've heard of it. I haven't seen it though. And I, someone else he turned me on to watching episode one, and I went home and watched episode two, and I it is. It reminds me a lot of freaking Avatar The Last Airbender, with one guy who's like the ultimate warrior, and everybody else sucks in comparison. I fucking love this show. So, Seven Deadly Sins? Yeah, it has... You were just... Last time we talked about it, you were talking crazy shit about it. No, I said, him. it's awesome, but it, it is. It has weird, like, Japanese sexual innuendo all the time. Well, not all the time, but a couple times an episode. And it's so weird. Like, our animes, I guess they have to have some type of weird upskirting of characters every... Not necessarily. Pokemon never did. That was a kid's show. Well, like this is anime. Kid. Dragon Ball Z had some weird stuff. If I've seen the internet. Yeah. Like, yeah. 
Parker watches Yokai Watch occasionally, and it's not any like sexual stuff. Is there but, any boob grabbing? No, but it was like they were making fun kid fun of one kid for dropping a deuce in the bathroom at school, and I'm like, they just said drop a deuce. I'm like, <laughs> Japanese this is humor. strange. Yeah. Drop a yeah. number two, dude. So and it was like it just you know what Yokai Watch is? It's like this kid has a watch and you can see ghosts basically, but the ghosts there's a different ghost that affects people in different ways, and there's ones that make people yell at each other, there's ones that make people. Scientology. Truth. There's ones that make people fart. This is Scientology. <laughs> it was just, it's it's very strange. Tom Cruise approves. Thumbs up. <laughs> we have to say what you're doing. <laughs> Any closing thoughts? Anything you guys have? He just thrusts with his pelvic region. Circle jerk. There's only three of us. That'd be a triangle. Well, any shape will do. Well, this is the last time we're going to use this microphone. So if you really want to aim for something, no, we're not doing a triangle jerk. <laughs> I still feel like there's more to be talked about about Game of Thrones, but I know this isn't dedicated to Game of Thrones, so I don't want to say anything. Well, we we have like five don't minutes, go, so you can't don't go. Don't go on Wikipedia and ruin it. What do you mean? You, you can't. You go, I remember going on Wikipedia before I finished the Harry Potter, and it spoiled something, besides Robert spoiling the fucking the movie two weeks before the last <laughs> movie aired. How do you do it? You could be Robert. I, I, exa- I And I kept this to myself no, for so long. Yeah. He read the book. And I said week one. Yeah, and I said the, yeah, and it didn't come out for years later. Right, you wait five years, or maybe. And then I said, was... oh yeah, they changed the place that Snape dies in the book from some this place to this place. And this he's was, like, we talk about we're gonna see it together, I think, or something. <laughs> and or, he was like, what? Wait, what? What'd you say? You just tell me the ending. I was like, oh, you didn't know Snape? Uh, Snape died? I thought it was like a, a well-known fact. Like, well, everybody <laughs> no. knew that Dumbledore died. Yeah, that was all over the internet. People were trolls, and that's how I found that out. No big deal. Who cared? What's nice is you can't read any spoilers about Game of Thrones now because they're in uncharted territory. Well, you can if... They're, Katrina found a, uh, a uh, fantasy Game of Thrones thing where you picked characters who were going to live and who were going to die and you get points for who they kill, what they kill, and, and if they kill this person and you had the person... We gotta do that. I mean, fuck, we bombed on a civil war. We showed... Who, what name two characters do you think are going to die? Yeah, nobody. Yeah, that's bullshit. <laughs> Fucking, we, that sucks. We all Did you lost. see it? I haven't seen it yet. I saw it twice. Wait, you haven't seen it? I haven't seen it, no. Oh, well, spoilers. Uh, yeah, way to go, Corey. Be an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> yeah. Civil War, Big the comic's been out hole. for, uh, like, ten years, and now you just... <laughs> Corey's no, making symbols of licking <laughs> assholes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what okay. A, what are you, a catfish? No, not a bottom feeder. Anything, any closing... Yeah, Stuff I, just, I just closed it. <laughs> Super tight butt hole. Uh, next week will be our 10th episode, and we will have a new laptop. It'll be our 10 years of podcasting. And, we, and the first the nine microphone. and a half years, we didn't actually release anything, but we are thinking about it. <laughs> we planned. That's why you get such good shows right now. It's just well thought out. There's no awkward silence. <laughs> <No. laughs> Well, make sure you subscribe, listen, and retweet everything that I tweet so everybody will start listening to the show. I guess just tweet Robert in general. Yeah, tweet. Let him know if you watched it. If cheep, you cheep, 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 you... cheep, cheep. <laughs> tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> cheep, cheep, cheep. <laughs> Why is that serious? Uh, but follow me at I... I'm terrible. <laughs> what is it? Follow me at Sly Comics on Twitter. Subscribe. Tell your friends to listen to this podcast. Tell your parents. Uh... Look up Chris Cotta on Facebook and listen to his music because he does the music for the show. That's Chris Cotta with two T's. Two O's. Uh, I can't remember what his music page is, but the guy's pretty talented, so go listen to his music. And It sounds like Castlevania. <laughs> well, it's not... The music he makes isn't all, like... No, yeah, it is. Like, 8-bit stuff. He does uh, a lot of... I wish I could go see him, but he's in... Road trip. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to Canada to go see him play. I don't think he's in Sacramento right now. Anyways, we're getting off topic. Anything you guys want to promote? Canada in general, I guess. Go Canada? It's the country to the north. John Snow, John Snow's <laughs> going to shit on Ramsey. Like, I literally? Hope. I hope. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Could you imagine That's... if somebody just broke out and dropped a deuce on somebody else on the show? Brought to you by Yokai Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by DJ Ron. <laughs> Oh, we mentioned the Brienne love story with what's his name? That needs to happen. They're yes, gonna do Tormund. I love that he's given the eyes and she's <laughs> never seen the eyes before, so she's like, "What the fuck is this guy doing?" They better show penetration. 
the show It's just going to be a giant bowl. red. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, that's uh, episode nine of Nine to Five Nerds with Robert Swat. I can't see my own last name. The penetration got you. That, with that, <laughs> Literally. With that hard P. <laughs> it's Nine to Five Nerds with Robert Swathwood, Corey Urkel, Bye. and Anthony Smith. I hope the carpet matches the beard. <laughs>